Hong Kong is the pearl of the Orient, the city of Asia, and home to some of the most Instagram-worthy photo spots. The question is, which ones are worth your time? Stay tuned to the end to find out some extra secret bonus spots. Starting with the best photo that I took in Hong Kong and definitely worth a visit. I'm sure you recognize this amazing place from Hong Kong. This is the Yik Fat Monster Building where Transformers was filmed. So to get here guys, go to Taiku Station, go to Exit B, turn left down Kings Road, go down all the way to Kings Road for two blocks. Then you'll find the entrance past Look Foot Jewelry. You have to go past a few shops. It is a massive council estate building. The best time to go is to go in the mornings where there are less people or just after it rains. This one is definitely worth a visit. Four out of five. Next on my list, another amazing major attraction in Hong Kong, the Peak Tram. These are the two incredible photos that I took from the peak. You can take the Peak Tram for 37 Hong Kong dollars each way or 52 dollars for a return ticket. Or even better, just take a taxi. It is 100 Hong Kong dollars, which is 10 pounds. You can also get the bus X15 from Admiralty Station Exit B or bus 15 from Central Pier for just 13 Hong Kong dollars. If you go down Lugard Road, which is a hidden road, there is this insane view of Hong Kong where there are literally no crowds. What I did was I went up to the Victoria Peak Garden. Apparently the view is better, so you can see the other side of the island. It's off the beaten path a bit. It's actually next to this Victoria Peak transmitting station. So this is a hidden gem. So the Lugard Road view, I highly recommend five out of five and the transmission view higher up so you get a more panoramic view of Hong Kong but a four out of five for this place. Moving on to the Sai Wan swimming shed. This is the basic Instagram influencer spot. It's the last open air swimming shed in Hong Kong and you can find it going to Kennedy Town Station, getting out exit A, getting the bus 58, walking on these steps till you find it. Long queues and an okay photo. I give this one a three out of five. Another photo that you can take by Kennedy Town Station though is you go towards the waterside and across the road you can get to this spot where you can take some cool urban landscape shots by the water. So this next incredible photo from the Far Yoon Street Bridge with leading lines into the centre off into the distance. So Far Yoon Street is one of the streets near Mong Kok which is where all the markets are and all the young people. It's specifically famous for having tons and tons of shoe shops. I will give this photo spot a 4 out of 5, definitely worth visiting if you have time. So another one of these street markets is Tung Choi Street, which is where the ladies market is, where you can find bargain t-shirts, accessories, belts, handbags, cheng sams, which is like traditional Chinese dresses. Another Instagrammy spot, Chun Yung Street Wet Market. Famous for having a tram line that runs through the middle of the market. Basically, they sell fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, flopping fish, all that fresh stuff. I would only give this photo spot a 2 out of 5. I don't think it's worth your time because one, it's in North Point, which is not that close to Central. And two, also it's very rushed. There are loads of locals everywhere. The tram is passing super quickly, so you can barely have time to take a photo. This next spot is absolutely worth a visit. This spot is the Nan Lian Garden and the Chi Lin Nunnery. So you can find this classical Chinese garden near Diamond Hill Station. As you can see, it's got this incredible pavilion of absolute perfection. It's got these amazing water features and this cool Chinese Buddhist eatery called Chi Lin Vegetarian. But the Chi Lin Nunnery is just as incredible. It's got these lotuses on the water and you can get this cool photo, which I definitely did not get told off for. Highly, highly recommend that you visit this place, guys. Five out of five. Another infamous Instagram photo spot, Choi Hung Estate. So Choi Hung Estate is basically a subsidized public housing estate where you can find this basketball court where everyone takes photos. When I mean everyone, I mean all the teenage girls. To get to this basketball court, go to Choi Hung Station, go to either exit C3 or C4, follow the signs for the estate, then go up the steps, up the car park, and then you will get to this cool court with all these cool rainbow estate buildings. I definitely do recommend this spot if you have time, guys. Four out of five, but it's definitely not a necessity. Next up is also one of my favorite spots in Hong Kong, a spot that I always visit every single year. 
Victoria Harbour. So by Victoria Harbour, you can find the Cultural Centre, the Space Centre, the Pier, the Clock Tower, and the Avenue of Stars, which are all super cool attractions if you have a bit of time to, if you have a bit of extra time to visit. They also have the world's largest permanent light show, which goes on every day at 8 p.m. You can also ride the Aqua Luna, which is this classical Chinese junk boat for around 160 Hong Kong dollars. That's the lowest price, which goes up to about 310 Hong Kong dollars if you want to go during the light show. Or even cheaper, just get a star ferry across the central or Wan Chai. So to get here, go to East Jin Sa Joy Station and get out at exit L6. Highly recommend this spot. This is like a must if you're going to Hong Kong. Five out of five. This is also my favorite area in Hong Kong. You've got the whole of the shopping district in Jin Sa Joy, and you've also got Nathan Road where you can find some of the neon lights. So this next one is an awesome sunset spot on the Kowloon side. If you go to Garden Hill near Shek Yip Mei Station, go up a flight of stairs, you go climb a bit up a hill, it's near like a reservoir, you get to this cool photographer's viewpoint. So this photo spot, mainly just buildings, worth visiting if you have time, if not, don't worry about it, three out of five. What is nearby though, if you take the bus 81 further north, you get to Kam Shan Country Park. So this is by the Kowloon Reservoir, and you can find scary crazy monkeys. So I entered the park, crazy monkeys started staring at me, following me. It looked like they super wanted to fight me or eat me. These monkeys are really aggressive. Just one right there and almost attacked me, staring at my blue bag, looking for food probably. Don't come here alone guys. I definitely highly do not recommend that you feed these monkeys. So that was crazy. It says clearly, do not feed the feral monkeys. And she brings a bucket load, a car, a car load of pasta and fruit. These monkeys tearing at her everywhere. Holy f This next one is a trek. Dragon's Back. So this is one of the best hikes in the whole of Asia. This is an urban hike with some ridiculously incredible views of Hong Kong. So to get to Dragon's Back, Take the MTR to Shao K1 station, exit A3, then get the bus 9 to Tol Te Wan. The track itself finishes at Big Wave Beach and will take you around two and a half hours if you're chilling. Definitely bring tons of water. It's pretty rocky, it takes an hour to get to the top, but you do not regret it as paragliders. There's a view of Sheko Beach and you're right next to the water. It is insane. If you want to go down to Sheko Beach as well, you can even do a bit of windsurfing. Five out of five. So what are some awesome bonus spots that you should visit? Hollywood Road. Hollywood Road is one of the oldest roads in Hong Kong where you can find the Manmo Temple and some crazy good street art. It's near central and super easy to get to. The 10,000 Buddhist Monastery. So this is a monastery with actually over 12,000 golden Buddhas. You can find this in Sha Tin and be very careful, there's lots of fake monks pretending to be monks. There's actually no monks that live there. So don't give any money to anyone. Another place to visit, Tamar Park. So Tamar Park, you can actually get an awesome view by the water side on the Hong Kong side rather than the Kowloon side. We've got two IFC, one IFC, Bank of China Tower, the International Commerce Center on the Kowloon side, and this is the central plaza office building. Causeway Bay. So this is a famous shopping district among Hong Kongers. You can find boutique shops, department stores, and Jardine's Crescent, which is basically another market, like the ladies' market that I spoke about earlier. So you've got cheap clothing, accessories, bags. But my favorite store, is the homeless store. No, they don't sell stuff for homeless people. This is a store that does homeware and lifestyle and has very cool designs, very cool practical stuff. 
So did I miss any cool photo spots that you would have wanted me to speak about or any other recommendations? Let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next in my next adventure abroad.